you are looking at the most extreme front-wheel drive hatchback currently in production. Called the Renault Sport Megane Trophy R, it's the fastest and most extreme machine Renault's performance division has ever created. The normal Megane Trophy 275 was already pretty special, but the R has been transformed into a track day fanatic's dream come true. Around 100 kilograms has been saved by ripping out various bits and bobs from the car. For instance, by removing most of the sound deadening, they've saved around 21 kilograms. Removing the back seats, 20 kilograms. The air conditioning, six kilograms. And the rear wiper, one kilogram. A further 27 kilograms has been saved by fitting lightweight Speedline alloy wheels, plus a pair of Recaro bucket seats that are available with six point harnesses. These changes mean less weight for the 271 brake horsepower two litre turbocharged engine to haul around. According to Renault, this has improved the car's 0-62 MPH sprint time by 0.2 of a second to 5.8 seconds. But how easy is it to do this in real life? Well, over our three runs, we had two 6.3 seconds and one six seconds dead. So not quite as quick as Renault's claims. Really though, the Trophy R is all about going round corners as fast as possible. That's why Renault has fitted Olin's adjustable dampers, composite front springs and super sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tyres, in addition to the usual cup chassis upgrades and standard fit limited slip differential. And the Trophy R's F1 inspired front wing and showy paint scheme is perfectly justified because it holds a lap record for a front wheel drive production car around the Nürburgring. So what does it feel like to drive this world beater? There are driving enthusiasts who will tell you that rear wheel drive is for purists and that front wheel drive is best left to sort of city cars and super minis but they need to take one drive in this Renault to discover that you don't need rear wheel drive to have serious fun in a car. Now obviously this car has been set up for track use as much as anything else and everything's been stripped out as we discussed earlier. I'm using the three point seat belt rather than the six point harness because frankly I don't have half an hour to get in and out of the car every time I want to go somewhere but it doesn't detract anything from the driving experience just to use the normal seatbelt because this thing is a riot. Until you get some heat in the uh, in the tyres, it can be a little bit wild, but once there, the grip is phenomenal. These Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s just hang on and hang on. And with the special Olin's dampers, the body control is superb. And the mechanical limited slip differential is very aggressive when it cuts in. Then there's the two litre turbocharged engine, which is just a riot. The noise it makes, you get this hard edge mechanical blare, and then these pops and bangs on up changes from the aftermarket exhaust. The six speed gearbox has got this kind of rifle bolt feel to it. It's so quick and precise. Some people describe this car as a mini touring car, but to me, it feels like a <laughs> a tarmac spec rally card. Okay, so the Renault stripped of all its weight. It's got uprated Olin suspension. It's got super sticky Michelin Pilot Cup Sport 2 tyres. So altogether that should equate to a lot more grip and it, it certainly feels like it, but exactly how much grip? Well, to find out, we've hooked the car up to our V-Box G meter. And we're gonna take it through this fast left-hand corner and find out. G, that's quite a lot. There is no denying the Trophy R's capability, and Track Day fans will undoubtedly love it. But what they won't love is the price. It starts from over £36,000. But then record breakers don't come cheap. To watch a track battle between the Mini Challenge 210 and the Mini Challenge Racer, click the video on the left. To watch a track battle between the Seat Leon Cupra R and the Volkswagen Golf R, click the video on the right. To watch our latest video, click the play icon, and to subscribe, click on our logo.